Welcome to Global Current please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. It all began with a dream, a dream of reaching out to the giants of our solar system. In 1977, humanity launched Voyager 2, a spacecraft built of metal, wire, and genius. Its twin, Voyager 1, followed soon after. We flung them into the cosmic ocean, not knowing if anyone, or anything, would ever find them. Their mission pure discovery, to go where no one had gone before and report back. These probes became our eyes and ears in the silent void, carrying our hopes and questions. The original plan was a five-year mission to Jupiter and Saturn, but Voyager 2 was built to last. It was engineered to survive deep space's radiation and cold, a testament to human ingenuity. Voyager 2 carried a golden record, a mixtape of Earth's sounds and sights for any alien civilization that might stumble upon it. The journey was long, years turned into decades as the probe, no bigger than a small car, sailed silently through the void. It used the gravity of giant planets to slingshot from one to the next, a cosmic game of billiards. This rare planetary alignment was a once in 175 years chance, and we seized it. Voyager 2 became our stand-in, venturing into the unknown on our behalf. Today, nearly 50 years later, Voyager 2 is still talking to us. It has traveled farther than we ever imagined, leaving the sun's cradle for the vast space between stars. It is an interstellar traveler, sending back stories more profound than we dared to dream. This is a story of fire, ice, and magnetic mysteries, a universe stranger and more beautiful than we knew. This is the story of Voyager 2. Voyager 2's first stop was Jupiter, the king of planets in 1979. It revealed Jupiter's swirling storms and the Great Red Spot, but the real shock was on its moon Io, active volcanoes spewing sulfur into space. For the first time, we saw volcanism beyond Earth, making the solar system feel alive. Next, Saturn. In 1981, Voyager 2 flew behind the planet, unveiling thousands of ringlets and dynamic ever-changing rings. It glimpsed moons like Enceladus, hinting at hidden oceans beneath icy shells. Then, came, Uranus, in 1986, uncharted territory. Voyager 2 discovered new moons, rings, and a bizarrely tilted magnetic field. Uranus's magnetic poles were near its equator, challenging our theories. Neptune was next. In 1989, Voyager 2 found the Great Dark Spot a massive storm with the fastest winds in the solar system. But the most stunning revelation awaited at Neptune's largest moon, Triton. What Voyager 2 found there would upend our understanding of icy moons and set the stage for future discoveries. Each encounter rewrote what we thought we knew about the outer planets. Voyager 2's journey was a once-in-a-lifetime grand tour, revealing a solar system far more dynamic than we imagined. It was a journey of surprises, each world stranger than the last. And at every stop, Voyager 2 showed us that the unknown is always more wondrous than we expect. The stage was set for Triton, a world that would change everything. Scientists expected Triton to be a frozen, cratered wasteland. Instead, Voyager 2 found a geologically active world, with smooth surfaces and signs of recent resurfacing. The biggest shock, active geysers erupting nitrogen gas and dark material up to 8 kilometers high. Cryo-volcanoes, on a world, colder than we could imagine. This meant a body didn't need the sun's warmth to be alive, other forces were at play. Triton's orbit was another clue, it moves backward, a captured wanderer from the Kuiper Belt. The energy from its violent capture likely melted its interior, creating a subsurface ocean and fueling its geysers. This single flyby rewrote our understanding of icy worlds. Before Triton, we thought of them as static. After, we saw them as dynamic and complex. It made us wonder what secrets lie beneath the ice of moons like Europa and Enceladus. Triton was a preview of a new kind of world, one we're only beginning to explore. One brief encounter changed everything we thought we knew. Voyager 2 had opened a new chapter in planetary science. After Neptune, Voyager 2's mission became interstellar, its goal to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. In 2018, it finally crossed over, and what it found was a surprise. Voyager 2 detected a dramatic spike in temperature, a wall of fire made of high-energy particles. This turbulent barrier marks the true edge of our home, where the sun's domain meets the galaxy. Inside, we're shielded by the sun's magnetic field. Outside, 
we enter a realm shaped by ancient supernovas and other stars. The discovery of this fiery boundary changed our understanding of the cosmic neighborhood. It affects how cosmic rays enter our solar system, influencing everything from satellites to Earth's climate. Voyager 2, our tiny scout, is reporting back from the front lines, revealing a universe far more dynamic than we imagined. The edge of the solar system is not quiet, it's a stormy frontier. As if the wall of fire wasn't enough, Voyager 2 sent back another puzzle, magnetism. Scientists expected the interstellar magnetic field to be completely different from the sun's, but as both Voyager probes crossed the heliopause, they found the magnetic field outside was almost perfectly aligned with the one inside. This defied all models and suggested a deeper connection between our solar system and the galaxy. The sun's magnetic field and the interstellar field seem intertwined, a magnetic handshake across the threshold of space. How is this possible? No one knows yet. Voyager's discovery forces us to rethink how stars interact with the galaxy. Even the emptiest space is filled with mysteries, thanks to these intrepid travelers. Voyager 2's legacy is a stream of discoveries that reshaped our view of the solar system. Before Voyager, we saw blurry dots and thought moons were inert rocks. Voyager revealed volcanoes on Io, dynamic rings and hints of subsurface oceans on Europa and Enceladus. It shifted our search for life to these hidden icy worlds. Voyager transformed our understanding of planetary rings, showing them as complex evolving systems. It revealed shepherd moons and mysterious spokes in Saturn's rings. The images it sent back were both scientific treasures and works of art. At every turn, Voyager 2 forced us to abandon old theories and embrace a weirder, more diverse solar system. It didn't just add new chapters. It made us rewrite the book. Voyager 2 changed how we see our place in the cosmos. In late 2025, Voyager 2 continues its lonely journey, over 13 billion miles from home. Its power is fading, instruments shutting down, but it still whispers data from the edge of the unknown. Designed for five years, it has lasted nearly 50, a triumph of engineering and human spirit. Voyager 2 symbolizes our curiosity, our courage, and our drive to explore. It carries no weapons, seeks no territory, only knowledge. The golden record it bears is a message of hope, a greeting to the cosmos. Its discoveries, from Io's volcanoes to the wall of fire, are more than facts, they're sources of wonder. Voyager reminds us how much we have to learn, and how far we can go. Its legacy is to inspire new missions, new explorers, and new dreams. The story isn't over, as long as it speaks, it inspires. The cosmos awaits, and our curiosity will always lead the way.